kill you. Take a seat, have a drink, and let me regale you with the tale of the heroes of the Sadality. After finding the hidden treasure of the Wilden Timberland, Panacea and Oleg headed to town in search of wheelbarrows or carts. When they returned and began sorting and counting their loot, it was realized that the gold pieces were cursed. Not wanting Panacea to suffer 100 curses, Gimrick used Morph to scoop up the coins and transfer them. But the magic infused Morph. Barriers surrounded it, while the magic beams began shooting out wildly. Panacea prepared his spells to save Morph, but Cal was too quick on the draw, breaking through the barriers and killing Morph. Luckily for Gimrick, he was able to resummon his seal, and it was not lost forever. It was lucky for us, too, for one day Morph would turn the tides in the great battle of... Oh, well, I'll save that tale for another time. The group could feel the ley lines healing ever since they dispatched the evil gnolls and tarnished the blood ritual. They traveled back to town, showing the skull to the Bradovich brothers and explained the relations between them and the floating, talking skull. At first, Winston and Charles were skeptical, but they soon realized who exactly the skull was. In order to bring the Bradoviches and their townspeople back to the Sodality, the heroes had to strike a deal with the skull, allowing it full access to the Sodality and the knowledge stored there. In return, the Skull would give his loyalty and aid the Sodality however he could. Was it a mistake to bring the Skull back? Or was it one of the greatest decisions Cal had ever made? Well, you all know what happened next. Tomorrow we feast and continue the tale of the heroes of the Sodality.